Hello everyone, this is Human, and in this tutorial I'm going to simulate two planes that are connected to each other with hinge joint. So stay tuned. Uh, in the part section we need to define our part as 3D deformable shell and planar. So continue. We need to define 0, 0 and also 50 comma 50 because it's actually in square and then select the rectangular okay so this would be our plane So the next step is uh, defining some property for our plane. I named it plane one. And uh, so this plane has not any volume, so there is no need to uh, define uh, any density for that. So let's go to define the Young modulus, which is two ten e to the power of three, with uh, a portion ra portion ratio of uh, point three. Okay, and section shell homogeneous. Continue, and we need to define a. Uh, thickness for our shell which is two and a half millimeter so all the units are in tone newton millimeter in second so click OK and then assign our property uh, to our plane OK so the next step is uh, you need to uh, define and design two plane so uh, two plane exactly similar to each other so the only thing that you need to do to make your life a bit easier uh, is just going uh, to tree right click on part one and copy named it as part two and click OK so you have the exact the exact same part um, as part one here and name is part two. Okay, uh, next step is going to assembly and uh, we need to define the two plane dependent. Okay, and uh, we need to transform the part two from let's choose part two from here to this point and click so the next step would be uh, defining the step how uh, you create the step static general from initial step click continue and uh, you need to go to incrementation to increment size change it to 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 so uh, this is just for uh, getting good animation uh, at the end uh, so in this as you can see the time period is one and each incrementation would be 0 0.1 so uh, it it will give us 10 steps for the animation so it doesn't adversely or positively affect the results so it's just for the visual visualization purpose and um, click OK so the next thing would be going to uh, interaction 
and then uh, going to create constraint uh, define the display body continue it says that pick an instance to make it display only <coughs> so uh, you need to choose uh, the plate one uh, part one so uh, you want is you want displaying as constant so you should uh, choose no motion for that and again go for the display body and choose the second plane and follow single point so um, at first you need to uh, define some uh, reference point so go to the tools reference point reference point one and again tools reference point two that's good now you need to go to this and choose follow single points with reference point two and click okay so uh, in this step we want to define a uh, wire mesh so uh, to do that at first we need to hide the second plate here and then define it uh, from point uh, 1 to point 2 so it is defined now and click OK and then bring the whole model together next thing is going to create connector section for defining the hinge joint between the two plates so you need to change the assemble and complex type to hinge type and here you can see the diagram and um, the notations of the hinge joints so click continue and we want to add a friction to the to our joint a low friction like um, for instance point one point zero one okay so we want to assign this into our model so we need to uh, at this stage we need to um, select our wire and click done so in the orientation section you need to specify a coordinate system uh, so uh, the define the predefined coordinate system is global which is this but we need to um, actually create a new one so create datum and rectangular continue so the first point would be this the second point and also the third one so you have already created uh, the coordinate system so click cancel and then we need to choose our coordinate system so choose that one and click OK so in the next step uh, we need to define some boundary conditions in the load section so uh, for the first plate for the uh, reference point one we need to use a symmetry caster uh, continue select region boundary condition so we need to um, select reference point one and click done and choose the end caster because there is no uh, degree of freedom for that um, reference point one and click OK and the second boundary condition would be uh, displacement rotation for the reference point two done so we want uh, our second plane to rotate uh, about X axis uh, for 90 degree 
So uh, it's about the x-axis. So we need to define this as 1.57 radians, which is corresponds to 90 degree. And just click. So uh, the coordinate system. It's about the coordinates, the global coordinate system. So the x-axis of this coordinate system are along with this axis so we don't need to change the coordinate system and just click OK. The next thing that uh, we should do is going to the job section um, and create a job actually if you want you can name it continue we don't need to um, actually define some uh, change the processors that the software wants to use just uh, going here and click submit so guys as you can see uh, the model has simulated completely uh, so the movement is so fast you can go uh, to this icon and just slow down the uh, speed a little bit like this or you can go to this icon frame selector to see uh, if you click on this uh, you can uh, see each step individually so uh, as we expected uh, we have uh, 10 different uh, steps uh, so uh, the plane the uh, plane number two rotates around the x-axis uh, about uh, 90 degree um, to sum up, uh, we've already built a hinge joint model uh, and uh, in the model we didn't consider the density for the planes as they have uh, not any volume. Uh, so simulation of a hinge joint uh, is uh, actually applicable for modeling body segments joints like elbow, wrist, uh, ankle and knee. So. It's really useful uh, for uh, some of you guys which want to uh, uh, simulate some uh, biomechanic simulation or uh, body parts. Uh, so uh, thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please give us your feedback. Uh, we always be happy to hear back from you. Also, if you need any video of a particle or simulation, let us know uh, so we can make them for you. Um, and also, I need to say that this is just a simple simulation for the hinge joint. So if you want to uh, build a real hinge joint, uh, like a, a more complex one, you need to know how to uh, build a how to make the simple one uh, so it would be helpful for that thank you guys and bye till the next video